Happy, happy Wednesday, December 16th. We have two days to get a bill passed before the government shuts down. Great news today, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me, Timmy O'Neill, on Embrace Life, um, where we talk about finance, we talk about health, we talk about the government. Um, yeah, so let's dive right in. So yesterday we uh, affirmed that, uh, or confirmed, that uh, there will be uh, an extension of unemployment of 16 weeks, taking us to April of 2021. Um, so for those of you unemployed, you'll be getting a federal boost of $300 per month uh, for 16 weeks. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's, let's get real deep here. So Senator Bernie Sanders and Josh Howley last week drew a line and said, we're not signing anything unless there's a stimulus check going out to the, uh, directly to uh, the American people. And yeah, got, uh, they, needed a, they need 100 votes uh, without, uh, without the support of those 100 votes. Nothing's going to go through. And then the government shuts down. Wow. Here we got Nancy Pelosi. We got Mitch McConnell. We got Donald Trump. We got Joe Biden. We got um, Chuck Schumer and Mark Meadows. All on the same page. There's going to be a $748 billion uh, stimulus relief. But after these uh, arguments... You know, with the senators putting their foot down and saying, hey, we're not signing anything unless there's a stimulus. Now, we're seeing stimulus checks being included. Yeah, well, they're not going to be $1,200. So here's the, here's the prospectus. Um, they're going to be between $600 and $1,200. It's not going to be $1,200. So uh, presumably $1,100 or down to $700, I think, will be the adjusted um, stimulus. Uh, and then there would also be $500 for dependents. So, yeah, looks like they're going to be bumping that 748 up to $900 billion. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, probably about three or four weeks ago, we determined that it, it took approximately $350 billion for um, the initial $1,200 stimulus check to go out to everybody. So... From 748 up to 900, it's not enough to be 1200. So let, let's let's rule that out at this point. If a bill gets written and passed, uh, well, written today and submitted today, they can vote on it tomorrow and pass uh, on by Friday and start distributing checks by Monday. Unreal. So we've got major movements. Uh, let me know what you guys think the amount is going to be. Uh, I am still going to be giving my stimulus check to whoever um, wins a uh, uh, randomly chosen subscriber that leaves a comment below and shares this on social media. He'll still be eligible for my stimulus check, and I'm still keeping it at $1,200. I think no matter what, that is only fair. Um, I was considering uh, breaking it up into $200 installments to each of my subscribers, you know, uh, to six different people, um, which very well is possible. I'm not really near 500 subscribers, but if we hit 500 subscribers, it's going to be $1,200. Uh, I love and appreciate all of you guys. Uh, I, for me personally, I don't really think that it matters much about the state and uh, state and local government and liability protection. That has been the hanging point for uh, for all these uh, for everyone. Um, you know, Pelosi doesn't want to just give state and local uh, assistance uh, and a free pass to these uh, companies for treating their employees. We don't know how they're being treated. There's you know stories from Tyson Foods. Uh, where the operations managers were betting on who was going to get sick first. And, uh, you know, just these horrible, despicable stories that you can't just give free liability away. You can't just say, oh, okay, gross neglect. And, you know, every story is a little bit different. So you can't just say they're all the same and, and say, you know, we all incurred this uh, at the same time. And all the businesses 
were um, doing their due diligence. Not all the businesses were doing their due diligence, clearly by Tyson Foods in this story. Um, so, you know, let me know what you think. Have you got any horror, st horror stories for, from losing your job or, or what have you? Um, we've luckily been able to help out a few families uh, that were food insecure, uh, about to lose their house uh, right before the Thanksgiving holiday, which I'm absolutely appreciative of. Uh, shout out to everybody, um, you know, reaching into their pockets and digging deep to help out in emergencies. Uh, you know, kids not eating for the for Thanksgiving, that's just heartbreaking. Any rate, I love and appreciate all of you guys. Um, thank you for uh, being part of my community. You guys are the best, really. Like, I've seen some uh, comments on there. I also don't let, uh, let trolls get away with putting stuff down on my uh, page, uh, offering advertisements for investors. Um, if you see a WhatsApp phone number uh, offered by uh, this guy that saved me so much money and invested and I made $60,000, yeah, right. Get on, get off, get out. Um, so yeah, if you see those comments, let me know. Uh, but usually I review all my comments. At any rate, uh, don't forget to get your two free stocks from Webull. Uh, today is the last day for their promotion. Uh, to give the four free stocks, so you get two free when you join Webull, and then another two free when you deposit a hundred dollars. I've taken advantage of it. Uh, I think you should take advantage of it. I mean, the the return on, on investment is instantly twenty one percent. You think about it, um, you're right off the bat getting four free stocks with a minimum value to them. That's twenty one dollars just for depositing a hundred dollars. So hey. I love 21% return on my investment. I actually took that and re, you know flipped it uh, with my stock portfolio. Also, Bitcoin is going ridiculous. It's up to 20, uh, 20K. Uh, don't be surprised about Tesla flattening out before the end of this week. And then when it gets the inclusion for S&P, uh, you're going to see it light right up again. Uh, also... Tesla's trying to build up their production before the end of the year. They're, they're expected to make 500,000 vehicles for 2020. Well, you may have seen reports stating, oh, they're lowering production for their X and their Y uh, vehicle. That is because they already met the requirements for those vehicles. Their best sellers are the, uh, the Model 3 and the Model Y. So they're dedicating those guys to production for the Model 3 and the Model Y. They're also giving a benefit to Tesla buyers of a full year of supercharging for free uh, with vehicle purchase in hopes of raising um, their demand before the end of the year. Now, quarterly, they're, they're doing fantastic as far as production and as far as value. Um, Shanghai just reported uh, that they will be uh, upping their production, and with the new regulations in China... Uh, driving restrictions with the plates. Uh, the EVs are going to be definitely going in the right direction as far as uh, higher demand. Um, their limited restriction, I think it was be driving between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Uh, for vehicles that were non-EV. Uh, I'll have to look more into that, but uh, I look to see a strong quarter come out of China for uh, Tesla. Also, you got to remember, the Gigafactories of Berlin and uh, the Terra Factories uh, plus Austin, their production, it, 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 that it's all, they need to actually produce 181,000 vehicles um, the end of this month, or by the end of this month, uh, so that they have hit their 500,000 goal. Also, uh, if you are looking into precious metals, uh, I am an affiliate for Birch Gold Group. You could purchase uh, gold and silver or uh, roll over an IRA for precious metals. Um, I'll connect a link below for Birch Gold Group. Also, Apple. I know I, I've told you guys a couple times that I plan on doing a video for Apple, but with the stuff that was going on yesterday with um, how I you know, transfer my videos to YouTube Studio to produce, uh, I literally couldn't produce anything until really late last night i actually had two videos two full videos that i had worked on that i ended up totally wiping away because i couldn't transfer my video from my phone 
um, to my YouTube studio the normal way that I did it. And I actually found out that Reddit posted uh, that they had removed the uh, YouTube direct upload export from iMovie, which is what I, the main, uh, the main uh, editor that I use for, for my videos. At any rate, long and short of it, figured out that problem. I love you guys and I appreciate you. Um, if you like this type of content, hit the like button below. Hit that bell for notifications because there's going to be more, a lot more information about these stimulus checks. Because it's going to be anywhere from $600 to $1,200 more um, added to this $748 billion um, stimulus relief package. I love you. I appreciate you. Happy hump day. And uh, yeah, we got nine days till Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. I love and appreciate all of you. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Um, you know, let's just keep our families safe and happy and healthy uh, for the holiday season. And uh, you're all in my prayers, okay? I love and appreciate all of you. And as always, we'll be talking soon.